All right, hi everybody. It is Bonkai nine twenty two. Okay, um, the Chingeki no Kyojin episode. Did I say episode? Oh, uh, that's not until spring. Ah, uh, chapter. Yes, chapter. Uh, it came out today. I should say, yeah, today. Um, and I'm gonna do the review of that after I do this, which is the Do Love Rue episode of you. And also, at 11 o'clock, close to, hopefully, hopefully, and it's probably going to be a little later, it might be a little later than 11, depending on how quick I can do this review, give or take, and the, the, the live, it's going to be a live stream at 11, if I can do the Shigeki no Kyojin pretty fast and upload it, depending on, you know, duh, 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 we'll see. But it looks like after I do the Shigeki no Kyojin episode, chapter review, chapter 40, I will do the live stream right after that. Now, let's get into To Love Rue. Um, this one was episode 9. Okay. This one was called... Let me just... I believe this... This wasn't called Past. That's next week's episode title. This one was called... Oh, True Self. True Self. Um... True Self. The Face and Darkness. Now, pretty much what ended up happening in this episode was it was a little bit, you know, Rito. It was basically Rito and Golden Darkness. That's what it was uh, um, going on. True self, face, and darkness. Now, the whole darkness aspect circled around uh, Golden Darkness and Karosaki. It's hard to say her name. Mia? Maya? It's really hard to say her first name. Kurosaki. Um, and basically... In the beginning of the episode, we have Ushizu, the ghost, you know, um, what's her face? I believe her name is Ushizu. Uh, let me just check. Ushizu, yeah, Ushizu. So, I have Ushizu, she's in a shower with, with, um, Mikado-sensei, no, the nurse. And, you know, they're talking, and, and she's saying to her that, if you ever dive out of your, your body and are, are under extreme stress, you might disappear. And that's pretty much what she's saying. You might disappear and cease to be. <coughs> so, that's what she was saying. And we got, like, you know, blockage because obviously, oh, it's her, you know, Nudity. So, after that scene, we have, um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, we have Golden Darkness going to school, you know, her regional routine, and she's say, thinking to herself, um, about herself, you know, saying that she doesn't remember things before, <coughs> excuse me, before she was on Earth. She doesn't remember her childhood at all. And basically, that's what the whole premise was. And that's why this was called True Self, you know. And she's thinking about this constantly. And then we have a scene where she is with Selena. You know who Selena is. It's that little green that little girl who grew out of the plant, she goes, yeah, you know. Or she has in her hand this device that Lala obviously made. Now, at first, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, that must be, you know, like one of those things where it's going to gonna switch bodies and shit. No, it's not. And what happened was, and, and this, is, this is the funny thing about this show that I don't understand. And this is what I don't understand about one specific kind of characters. Characters like Nana. 
I want to understand what it means to be a character. You know this character loves the main character, but she refuses, refuses to announce him. That pisses me off. I'm like, you know you like him, so why don't you come out and say it? She's like, hey, hey, fucking bitch, give me a break. Pisses me off to no end. Not regardless, what happens is, um, Rito goes to uh, Golden Dark when he sees that device, saying, oh, don't go there, you know. And he grabs her hand, and the device activates, obviously, and they're stuck. It's a good thing it was her hand, and not, oh, I don't know, he's got the device, and the device is on her boobs or something, and he grabs it, and pfft. Good thing it wasn't that, because then I would have been really bad. So, he's stuck with, with Golden Darkness, and and it's so ridiculous, because once he got stuck, she says, okay, I'll cut your head off. He's like, no, no, no. He's freaking out on, on her. Rito's freaking out, and he says, no, 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 and he decides, and she says that she's going to go get her takoyaki, you know, that, that those pastries she likes to eat. So he has to go with her, obviously. And here's the thing that pisses me off about the situation. Nana. She says, oh, I'm going to go with them. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, like, why are you announcing it? And like, you don't like Rito. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's right. You like him. Nana really pissed me off in this episode. I'm sorry, but, but it, it, it's really stupid. Because she, of the sisters, of of the devil princess sisters, you have Momo, you have Nana, and you have Lala. Lala loves Rito. So does Momo. But Nana's like, he's a pervert. Really? Really? Then why do you keep following him around? Um, unfortunately, Kurosaki was going to go with them, but they, she said he had, she had things to do. Kurosaki was a big part of this episode at the end part um so they go to the park and they're following them and like nana's like you know oh i'm just making sure he doesn't do anything i'm like i do not like nana i'm sorry i can there are only three and i don't want i don't want to go into this there are only three characters that i probably would say oh i like them that are like that and those three characters are um Shauna from Shakugan no Shauna, her, Louise from Zero from Zero, and Taiga from Tor Door. Those are the only three that I could say, oh, that's okay. Because they actually like the main character. Because they actually love him. Duh! And they actually kind of try to, to proclaim it to a certain degree. Yet, her, Nana, she's like, bitch. Anyway, uh, Rito basically and, 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 and uh, Golden Darkness to go to the park, you know, and he asks about her childhood. And she's like saying, I can't divulge it to, to my target. <laughs> Consider him still a target to kill. Ah, oh, damn. Um, so what ends on happening is he ends up eating her takiyaki because she wants to leave room for the dinner because she's going to go over his house, over to Rito's house and help Mikan cook. So, from the park, they go home for the dinner, and there's obvious complications with the fact that they're stuck together, and the scene that pissed, pissed me off with Nana again is, is oh, you know, uh, Golden Darkness is saying, oh, I gotta take a shower. She needs to, it's part of my routine, I have to do it, I have to do it, and she's like, and Rita's like, can I wait? No, it has to, it's part of my routine. Here comes Nana, and she's like blushing, she's like, I'm gonna go. I'm like, listen, okay, you are full of shit. I'm sorry, but I, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot honestly accept Nana in this show. Because she does the, she does stupid things like this. First of all, if you don't love him, then why are you going there? Oh, so he doesn't peep? Fuck you. I'm sorry, I, I honestly, uh, uh, and he, 
here's the thing that really pisses me off when that scene happened. They're in the shower and everything. Like, they're in the shower, and they got him blindfolded. Okay, how do you expect him to grab the shower head? And he grabs your tail. And it's just like an accident waiting to happen. So they're all getting undressed. <laughs> there he is. She's washed. And she's like, she's like, I'm not washing your back. I'm like, first of all, you're flat chested. Second of all, uh, you might be cute, but it gets old real quick. It gets old. You're not gonna if you're not gonna admit least say, I love Rito, then get the fuck out. <laughs> That's just my opinion. So when it's what happened? <laughs> grabs her tail, and she's like, ah, because if you grab the uh, devil, uh, princess's tail, they, you know, get, you know, <laughs> pretty much, and what ends on happening is, um, he slips on a soap, he falls down, the blindfold comes off, he sees golden darkness, and the funny, funniest thing happened. This, his towel comes off, and Odyssey's his crotch! It's like, you yeah. <laughs> And then Mekon's there, and she's like, what the hell are they doing in there? <laughs> and meanwhile, after that scene, we see Lala getting ready um, for a bed, I think. She's brushing her teeth, and she's like, no, no, what's wrong? And you see her petrified face. You know what I say? She deserved it! <laughs> she, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow, Nana. So now you have to implant that image in your brain, seeing Rito's thing. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, then we have a scene, obviously, he's beaten up with his face. He's sleeping with um, Golden Darkness. And the Mikan was saying, oh, I trust Golden Darkness more than I trust you, Momo. And it's like, she knows, <laughs> Mikan, about Momo. Anyway, they have a conversation. Golden Darkness and Rito. And Rito apologizes to her because, well, first of that, but the other thing she apolo he apologized for, which was kind of weird, he said he's sorry that he felt he knows everything because it seems uncool that I, I feel like I know everything. And he apologized for that. And she, like, her, her face blushed. And he she then begins to open up with Rito and to talk about her uh, her past from long ago, way way before she met Rito, um, about this professor that she knew, which I thought was very interesting, and we got that, and he begins, and she just talks to him, and we don't get the whole the, the whole um, details of that conversation, but then we go from that to Ishisu, the ghost. She sees me. She sees Kurosaki walking, and she follows her. And she does, she's a ghost, so she has an implanted body, and she goes out of her body and into Kurosaki's mind. Which I thought, whoa, what's going on here? We're, we're, we're changing gears. So she goes in there, and she sees everything that's going in her mind, and she sees, you know, she sees a dream she's having of Rita licking her body. I'm like, that was weird. But then she goes deeper and deeper and deeper. The best part of this episode, I think, was this part, where the deeper she gets, the darker it becomes. Really dark. And you see a scene of, of Kurosaki fighting these alien guys, and she annihilates them. So it shows that she's just like Golden Darkness. She's a weapon. And we see a conversation she's having with her master, and apparently what is happening is she knows where... Golden Darkness is where her sister is, and she's gonna go and find her. And then we ha she comes out of it. Shizu gets confronted by Kurosaki, saying, "Oh, you know, you, you need to get out of here because if you don't, you would you would you're you're dead." You know, she's like saying that, and she's getting pulled in, and she releases herself from that and back into her body. And Kurosaki is saying, "Oh, it's a good thing you released yourself because you would have you would have disappeared." And Ushisu is looking at her and saying, what are you? And, and that's when the episode ends. Pretty much. So. 
And that's where it ends. Uh, this was a good episode. I like the second half a little bit better. <laughs> the first half was just a bunch of bullshit. But that ending, that ending had me. The ending had me. Now, I want to say we're getting to the, the juicy part here. Because remember, this is episode... Nine. Um, there's like about three more. And... With JoJo, it's different because they're going to continue on with part two. But with Two Love Rue, if this is it, they need 10, 11, and 12. They need to climax it, like huge. Now, next week's episode is called Past. So it's going to go into details about Golden Darkness's past. We're going to see this professor lady with blonde hair. It's going to get into it's a lot of details there. But overall, I thought this was a good episode. I like the ending more. I'm going to give this a four. I want to see something more, though, next week. I want to see this past explored more and see what reveals from it. But, yeah, that, that's the whole bit on it. It was a good episode, I, like I said. The funny parts, yeah, okay, yeah. But the big part was the ending. That would have me. Four out of five. The ending was like, wow, just fantastic. Darkness up the wall soup. So, I think, and I think I'm going to call this episode review true self darkness true self darkness um or maybe yeah true once true darkness self true self darkness what's true self darkness fine so yeah and that's pretty much what happened so this is getting interesting i want to see like i said i want to see 10 11 12 really floor me um i think it will i think we're gonna get some good juicy details here so look forward to it yeah yeah definitely uh and that's